Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. As always, I am your host, Matt, and as always, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm doing with the video in <laughs> In these, in these YouTube videos, I don't know. I'm still trying. I'm struggling with this crappy webcam. Uh, I just don't feel like using my camera right now to really set this stuff up. Either way, we're here with another WordPress tutorial, and I just did a video on setting up Affiliate WP, which is hands down the best uh, WordPress plugin to create an affiliate program on your WordPress website. And I had a bunch of questions sort of come in on Twitter and in YouTube comments. People saying, well. Uh, okay, now that we know how to set up an affiliate program, I also had this other question about how do we uh, do like redirect links or cloak affiliate links with uh, with a plugin in a WordPress website? Well, today I have the answer for you. It's called Pretty Link. You can get Pretty Link Lite in the WordPress uh, repo over at wordpress.org slash plugins slash pretty hyphen link. Um, I've been using it for a little while. They just rolled out version two, and this is what's going to make me jump to get the pro version. And I'm going to take a look at some of those options today. You can get the Pretty Link Pro, uh, or you can get Pretty Link Pro at prettylinkpro.com. Let's just take a look at the pricing real quick. Uh, 47 bucks for one site, 97 for the year if you have uh, up to five sites, and then 197 gets you up to. 25 sites and just like I talked about with affiliate WP this software is making you money right so if you're linking out to affiliates and you're getting paid on those commissions uh, it's this type of plugin that is going to make you money so you know it's not that bad when you uh, when you want to jump over to paying for something that's actually going to make you a little bit of money and I'm actually going to show you pretty link loaded up on the plugin tut website so this is live this is in action this is my actual website and um this is the interface right here. So the biggest problem I have, I, I am not an affiliate marketer, salesperson. <laughs> you know, I am just dabbling in the world, in the realm of of linking out to affiliates with this new plugin top venture. And the biggest problem is managing number one, like where all where all of my affiliates are. Right. So I have some affiliates that use affiliate WP. I have others that use share a sale. I have others that use. Um, Radius Impact, I think, is the name of it. There, I mean, there's a, there's a host of other than other custom ones that uh, that aren't listed. And then Amazon, you know, there's an Amazon affiliate thing too. So it's managing like all of that and checking all those places, but also managing all those links and keeping track of it, right? And seeing what's performing and what's not. So that's what uh, Pretty Link really excels at. And this is the interface right here. You can see um, this is just sorted by last created. So you can kind of see like, you know, all the clicks and the unique clicks that click that actual link. You can quickly come in and copy to clipboard. Um, so you can just drop it right in whatever content you're you're looking at or, or writing up at the time. Um, and then you can go and check individual stats. Now, this is one that I just created the other day, so it's not going to have that many stats on it. But if I click that, here is a graph and it'll just say over time, like how is this... Uh, particular um, link performing and you can do all kinds of other things like you could see you know what article they were on what refer it went to um, it's pretty pretty darn slick and then you can also search for this stuff as well one of the things I'm not really good at as we move over to the group section is grouping this stuff so you can group uh, links together I just haven't had the time or the uh, the patience to do it all as I've been going through. But there is a new thing in Pretty Link version 2 that I'm going to show you, which might make this easier for me. So groups, you can set up these groups of links as well. Um, matter of fact, let's actually create a link. Just <laughs> that, that would probably make the most sense. So let's add a Pretty Link so you can kind of see what this looks like. When I go to click on Add Redirect, now again, you might want to consult um, some SEO type of articles. I've been trying to do some research myself, but right now it defaults to a 307 temporary uh, link, then there's 302 and then a 301. I thought at one point 302 was the way to go, uh, but by default it's to set to 307. But the idea is uh, you want to check that for any of your, um, you know, SEO stuff that you might be doing. Uh, and then there's also a cloaked mode and some JavaScript stuff in the pro version, which if you want to take it a step further, you can. The target URL, this is where this link is going to go. So, you know, just for right now, I'm just going to say Matt Report, which is my other website. 
And that's actually HTTPS, so it's mattreport.com. I, you know, and this is where you create the actual pretty link or the custom link. So I like to just say slash go or go slash and then the name. You know, this is totally up to you. I, you know, that there might be some SEO stuff in that. I, I you know, I just really don't pay attention to things uh, in that kind of detail. But plug in, it'll go plugintut.com slash go slash mat report. And that's just for me, for my own awareness. When I'm typing and I want to quickly add a link, I can just, I know what I'm going to type, right? So I just plugintut.com slash go and then whatever the product name is. And it just helps me remember it. Um, and again, as you scroll through or as you move down this list, you can always click on the information icon and that'll link up uh, the information if you're unsure of something. And then the title, what is this? So this is Matt Report WordPress Podcast. You can leave a note. Uh, this is my other website. And then there's an advanced options. And again, this is where you can assign those groups. So if you're much more diligent at that, you could do that as well. No follow, which is another SEO thing. So that as the site's getting crawled, that juice isn't getting passed off to that link. Um, and then parameter forwarding, I'm not even sure what that is. I'm, ass I'm assuming you can pass parameters to something like filling out a shopping cart or filling out a form, that kind of thing. And then tracking, I believe track, oh, tracking is just the built-in um, click tracking. I don't think that was in the old version, but I could be mistaken. And then pro options uh, is just going to list out some of the pro options if you're on the light version. Now, I'm still using the light version, but I th I'm really close to jumping to the pro version for two reasons. Number one, keyword link replacement. I want to be able to just have all keywords in my posts link out to a, a particular affiliate product, right? So if I'm just talking about Ninja Forms, I want all of my Ninja Forms um, affiliate links to be, you know, filled out in that post. I really like that. And I also want to get into trying the split test of, of links, uh, which sounds pretty interesting. I don't, you know, know if I do enough traffic to really, to really, um, you know, manage that, but it sounds interesting and automated link disclosures that I really like. The FCC has launched, um, you know, or not recently, but for some time now, uh, has a new sort of, I don't know, governance, I guess, that you know, have to disclose that you're using affiliate links, which I do with my terms at the bottom of my site. So that would be some of the reasons why I would want to upgrade to the pro. But let's take a look at one last thing with Pretty Link. And this has really <clears throat> been an, a, an absolute godsend. I'm going to go over to the all posts section. And uh, or actually, you know, what? I'm just going to go new post. Let's just go new post. And when we go into a new post, um, you can see that before I always used to have to sort of go back and forth between, um, you know, I'd, I'd have one tab open for my pretty link window as I was, you know, formatting my finalized post and I would copy the, um, you know, the pretty link that I mentioned before, you can just click on the little clipboard and copy it and then you can paste it in. Or I just, by remembering, I could just add that in. Now, if I type in uh, my content, I can actually insert the pretty link with a, a very easy to use simple modal, which pops up and you can either create one right here, um, you know, on the fly. So if you're creating a new link on the fly in this post, you can create that right here as well, or you can search for an existing link. So if, again, if I were to do something like Ninja Forms, it would search for get Ninja Forms, boom, and grab my link, drop it right in, and I'm off to the races. Pretty, pretty sweet. Uh, it's something that's very minor, um, but a huge, um, a huge boon to using Pretty Link. And that's it. That's how I would link out to affiliates. That's how you can link out to affiliates. Uh, I feel like this is a great video to sort of come after the Affiliate WP video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you like videos like this, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. I hope you don't. Subscribe to the channel if you like WordPress uh, tutorials like this, it's plugintut.com, youtube.com slash plugintut. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.